In this weekend project we will talk about a 3D modeling made in ZBrush of a dog head. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hi everyone, Massimo here. As you might remember, I already modeled a head of a wolf in a previous project. If you want to see the video, I will put the link up here or here. Long story short, I had this 3D modeling made by, I think, two weeks. I recorded everything. I decided to try to 3D print it. Even if it was a long one, like four hours and something, I decided to try with Octoprint. And obviously, the feature of Octolabs. I started by modeling a dog head by some reference I had and some pictures. After a few hours of 3D modeling with this amazing software that is ZBrush, I made a 3D modeling that I was happy with and then decided to 3D print it. I still have to test some other features of Octolabs that former Lurker, I think is the name, he gave me some inputs to cut down times which I really appreciated and I will probably use them in the next video. If you also use Octolabs, you can check them out in the previous video's comments. So after exporting, I had to remove one piece of material from the head. I open Slicer Plus Edition, cut it, and basically waited for 20 minutes. After this procedure were done and after two coffee, I managed to use also the feature that allows you to select the resolution you want in your print. So for example, in my case, the neck was the one with less resolution and the head, the eyes, the nose were the one with the highest resolution. So I saved the G code and connected my 3D printer, camera, Octolabs and I was ready to go. Result looks amazing, I had a bit of artifacts on one side of the print, I think I have to tweak a bit the retraction speed of the filament, here you can see the final result. So this was really a fast project, I just did it printed testing also Octolabs. Next time I will probably do another modeling, testing the new feature out of Octolabs that former Lurker, Lurker, I don't know how to pronounce it really, uh, suggested me in the previous video comments section. So if you like these projects and if you like the whole procedure of creating these projects, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you don't, please give me a thumbs down, but leave a comment on, on how can I improve my content and my videos. See you next time with the next project. Bye!